Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Life As I Live It channel. This is Steve again, coming your way after a fairly long hiatus. I apologize for that. It's kind of been a interesting winter into spring. Every time I think I was gonna get something started, it never happened because mother nature would come along or somebody would be sick. So we've had a few minor setbacks, but I'm glad to be back with you. And I have got some exciting news to share during the time that I've been away. We had another milestone hit. We are now over 200 subscribers. Cannot thank you all enough. I am so excited for this. And as you can see kind of behind me, I'm playing in a new toy. Kind of, you can see you got a few extra lights here, a couple extra rows of seats. So I have a little, a little exciting news here. Uh, upgrade for me, you may think of it as a downgrade, but uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of it. Hang on just a minute and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. Thought what a better view to start this off with, but a picture of our local Chamber of Commerce. Such a beautiful evening with the sun in the background. Kind of give you a little spin through here. This is one of our little local mini parks, Farmer's Market. But now, let's get to what we all came here for. You saw a little hint of something there in the background when I was giving my introduction. So let's get around to it. That front end's not too hard to recognize, is it? But as the old saying goes, but wait, there's more. Let's step back and take a look. There she is. In all of her glory. This is a 1985. Lincoln Town Car, six door, someone called it a six pack. Limousine, she's got a 302 in her, V8, 80, a little over 80,000 miles. She runs, well you can hear her, she's just purring. Now I do know there's some lawnmowers going on in the background, but she runs great. This was an arm bruster stageway conversion. Let's kind of do a quick walk around here. Make sure I'm not getting in traffic's way or anything. show you some of the interior and then we may go for a little drive now she's not perfect I've not had a chance to clean her up yet I've only had her at home for a few days gotta do a little work to the dash there's a few things over there the radio has been removed a few things like that but as you can see the seats look fantastic another Arm Brewster Stageway. I guess that door's locked on me, so I'll just take you in the inside here. And show you the very back. There's one of the kids' toys there. Headliner's perfect. Got the extra sets of lights, so you can see the dash. So this replaces my 2000 Cadillac. The DeVille that you remember from a previous video that had the overheating issues. I decided to go older and get something that I feel is a little more reliable. And I think I made the right decision. But anyways, we'll get in the car here and hop along in. We'll take a quick drive. Okay, guys, I have got us in here. I don't know how steady my camera's going to be sitting on my dash, but we'll give it a shot and see anyways. Give you a little quick ride along. Acceleration smooth. She's got a little bit of an exhaust leak. I noticed that right away. Which, right now, the way it's doing, it don't bother me. Um, I've certainly had a lot leakier exhaust than this, so it's not a big deal. The turn signals work. The headlights and tail lights and all that stuff work on it. So, all the important stuff. Like I said, I just got to get a radio in here and fix this trim piece where somebody had stolen the original stereo out of it. I'd love to find a factory 
85 Lincoln radio, but those are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. I think the cheapest one I've found so far is like $450. And I'll just end up putting a generic one in it before I do that. But as you can hear, it shifts good through the gears. Open her up, it's got a good kick down to her. She can maintain her speed pretty good. We're already up to 45. A little bit of a whistle at the driver's side window. I think the weather stripping is kind of out a little bit. I've got some extra in the trunk, so it shouldn't be a big issue to use that to fix it. But, uh, but like I said earlier, my Cadillac was just giving me so many problems and everything was pointing towards the head gasket. So I decided instead of trying to put all the money into it and maybe have the transmission go out or something like that, I went ahead and found this and just made, made a changeover. So like I said, this replaces the Cadillac. But I think I'm, I've made a good decision. So far, I've already used it to take my daughter to a little school dance. So she got to be the talk of some of her classmates there for a while at the dance and all that stuff so kind of a neat thing you know how often you see one of these being daily driven but I, I don't know if I'll drive it every single day because I do have my newer model 05 town car but I'll probably try to put as many miles on this thing as I can just because it is a blast to drive and while it's a six door it's not hard to park um, it's it's a little longer than most normal parking places but that doesn't seem to be an issue you know i can kind of squeeze it in and still make it work it's not extremely long like you know a lot of the party limos or anything like that um i know most people look at a six door limo and they say oh that's a funeral home limo well, the story I've got on this one is this car never served any time as a funeral car. It was actually purchased by the owner of a Ford dealership in Alabama. And that was his personal car instead of a typical vehicle, which kind of makes sense. You know, if you're going to gonna be a, a big shot Ford dealer, then you might as well have the car to go along with it. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this. Like I said, this is kind of a just an off the cuff video, not one of my typical starting drives, but I figured I'd show you our new toy and thank everybody for bringing the subscriber level up. You guys are fantastic. Couldn't do this without you all. And I'm proud to have you along. If you aren't subscribed and would like to, be sure to click that uh, subscribe button and click the notification bell. And that way you'll be notified anytime I put out a new video and if you enjoy this kind of wacky content, you know, you never know just exactly what you're going to get from me. I may be working on an old car one day. I may be driving one one day. And then I may throw a roller coaster video in just like I did last time. So anything's possible on this channel. But if you enjoy that kind of variety, stick around. We'll have more to come. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.